I want to be an ARMY. Like, I wanted to be an ARMY for a while. Because I genuinely like BTS and their music as well. But, you know, that feeling you have, like you're a newbie into K-pop or a certain group, and you just want to call yourself a fandom of theirs, but you just can't because you just don't feel qualified. The reason I bought this shoe is not only it looks good, but I wanted to have a certain amount of dedication of supporting BTS. I make a lot of reaction videos and videos related to them, but I don't know how much that helps them that much. It's just like I'm using them for views, which I'm not, but a lot of people might misunderstand it like that. The point is, I wanted to call myself an ARMY as much as I can call myself as a VIP. Seriously, I've been standing Big Bang from middle school. I've been into them since their first debut from Dirty Cash to Flower Road. I listened to their whole discography. I know all the members. I know like specific facts about them. I even know G-Dragon's dog's name. I know he's born in 88, but like these kind of stuff, like I feel like I'm a very secure VIP at the moment because I know a lot of stuff and I have confidence that when somebody comes over to me and says, okay, do a five minute presentation about who Big Bang is, do you know blah, 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 blah. Or if some other VIP comes up to me and says like, oh, you don't even know that and you call yourself a VIP, I don't want to get those negative looks at you. Before we go into any further talk, let's just unpackage this and see what it looks like. If you see the box, it's very delicate. You see the BTS um, emblem there. Open the box and yeah, as usual, all shoes are the same. Wow, looks good, right? The reason I bought this shoe, as I said, is because I wanted to support BTS themselves too, but it just genuinely looks good, you know? So if you look at the shoe, it has a very sleek look, it's very white, I like white, and I like black as well. And they have a golden touch to it, the Puma logo. Looks like the Nike Cortez, which is booming in Korea right now. Everyone, literally everyone's just wearing the Nike Cortez. There's always these kind of shoes that just trend among Korean people. Korean people are very sensitive towards trends. But on the side, I actually asked the shop owner and she said that these pair of shoes were sold out even before sale they, they were sold out in the pre-sale season there was even a restockage and after two hours it was gone so if you can see here like let's put this shit out because i'm gonna wear it right here for those of you who are saying that uh it's impossible to get your hands on these shoes it's not fake it's what is it related to bts for those of you who don't know this shoe it's because bts actually advertised them and if you can see you have the emblem here, you have the symbol here, and you have the symbol on back, and you have the symbol inside as well. And on the other shoe, who knows this date? Who recognizes this date? Tell me, guys. What is this date? I'm not gonna even explain about that. If you're watching this video, you're probably an ARMY, and you know what that date stands for, right? So it's a very special shoe, like a dedicated shoe towards BTS. It's very good looking. It has a very good orange rubber bottom, slipper presentation. So basically, if you're gonna wear this shoe outside, you're gonna be promoting BTS. Like, people are gonna wonder what that number is and what that symbol is. I don't know if they'll recognize it or not, but like for armies, it's gonna be a reinforcement of I'm not the only one out there, right? So this is a very famous shoe as well. It's the GD Vans. Uh, it's very hard to get. I think it's still out of stock. I'm not a shoe maniac, but I like to collect these kind of shoes. I'm gonna take my shoes off. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Wow. Wow, look at this fit. I really like the fact that it's all white and it has just like simple points on it, you know, these kind of stuff, and the golden puma and the black line. It looks very sleek, right? I'll just tie it up. Okay, some people say I tied the knot in a weird way. Right side, very clean, and just makes you more elegant, you know? Oh, there's a cat. You can see how it looks like, right? See, like this. It's very comfortable. It is very comfortable, I'm not lying. The width of my feet are very big, but it fits perfectly, so people who have big feet or like wide feet, it's perfect for you. I can't really wear those shoes that have those narrow styles. It's very good in the rain because it's gonna like prevent you from slipping like that. Check 
I've just met my friends and I came to the cafe to do some work. I've just finished my subtitles for BTS reaction. I've been constantly wanting myself to be an army or to call myself as an army. Actually, I know that there is no borderline in calling yourself an army or whatever fan you are. Some might say you have some kind of qualifications, like you have to enlist in the official fan cafe or something. You might have to have a bunch of knowledge on the group or something. Maybe some might even say like you have to support them by buying their merch or going to concert. I get their point, they've all got a point, but at the end, I think just being a fan is just supporting the group and their music itself. It's nothing big. Maybe spreading words or their music towards your friends and that kind of stuff. It, not everybody has the resources or the luxury to go to concerts and buy merch, right? So I know that it doesn't take a lot to call yourself a fan, but for me the case is kind of different because as a YouTuber and a K-pop reactor, I'm in a tricky position because a lot of people also say that I'm just using BTS for views and they don't see any genuineness inside my reactions and stuff. So they use that kind of logic to say that I'm not a true fan or I'm just acting to be from an army or something. So anyways, I just have this inner struggle inside myself while I see those kind of comments or criticism to address myself as an army. I also have this kind of constant fear inside me of becoming called out as a fake clickbaiter or YouTuber that uses BTS just for views. Right now, you might be wondering what is the point of this video? Is it a BTS Puma Turin review or what am I even talking about? There's no point in this talk, but well, the thing is, it's just a vlog, and I just want to tell you and vent out my thoughts on my inner struggle. As a YouTuber, is there a borderline or is there any action that can reinforce my genuineness to show you guys that I'm a true supporter on the screen? And it's a stupid question, but I just want to call myself an army now from now on, but can I?